How much would you give to watch a game in which Ronaldo, Messi and Zlatan faced up against Wayne Rooney, Lewandowski, Sergio Aguero, well, all in the one team together, facing against each other, similar to that of the NBA All-Star Game. Well, according to a magazine released in Deportivo, MD Magazine, is that it could happen. There could be a European All-Star match between uh, teams from the North, separated by North and South, rather than East versus West. And we've got some graphics here we want to throw to to show you what this could look like in terms of the predicted starting lineup. So also, there was a, a vote, and I think it's kind of <laughs> unanimous. I don't know if you guys can see, who, but... Who the 4.6%. Yeah, I want to know. You know what you are? You're the asshole. That's probably yeah. that's Jose Mourinho and Arsene Wenger because they those don't want the, the, the managers. Yeah, they're like, I don't, I don't want my managers. managers. <laughs> I don't want my players getting injured. So 7,000 votes there. So this is what is mouth watering wow, to me. Wow, look at so, that lineup. For me, on the left, I wouldn't start with those three up top. I think Suarez is a better striker than Ibrahimovic, but. Uh, that can be argued. So you've got Modric. Zlatan? Zlatan? I mean, I just... Zlatan? Zlatan's going to find you. Zlatan? I love Zlatan. But come on. <laughs> he's going to find you. But it's he's got to start just for the just for the fans. Yeah, for the fans, maybe. But if you were saying that, then you'd probably put Balotelli in the north. When no, you that's know true. No shit, I'd put, put Balo, yeah. and then probably Balo Balotelli. again, and then probably a third Balo. So what we're saying is, and this isn't purely off of ability for the starting 11, it's about fan favorites. Right, and Instagram followers. Yeah, probably by and Instagram guys. followers. Fans. Hey, it's, it's whoever the has the most Instagram followers. That's how they should pick the starting lineup. Yeah, well, what I'm thinking or about, Twitter. what cool, I'm thinking LeBron about, would be Twitter Twitter well. <laughs> what I'm thinking about mostly is if this does happen, will they put these teams in FIFA? Because I would love to go either of these two teams playing in FIFA in a video game. But look at this. Uh, for me, straight away, my eyes are obviously drawn to the south because you've got Messi and Ronaldo on the same team. Pirlo, Modric, Pogba. These are just some of the best players that could be on it. Uh, and in the north, you're combining leagues from the English Premier League, uh, the Bundesliga and Russian leagues. So it's true, it would just be a magnificent magnificent, sorry, spectacle to watch. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think it would be a success? Because they are actually talking about putting it during the regular season in between Champions League breaks. I think it would be an incredible... I mean, they'd have to position it intelligently and yeah. they would have no problem doing that. Like, this is for the benefit of... You name the cause. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you name the whoever cause. Whoever wants to sponsor it. How about the drought in California? Yeah, they could sponsor you know? it and probably <laughs> make a good amount of money. And then the players would show up. I mean, they would have, I'm sure, marching orders. I'm sure a lot of them wouldn't want to. Yeah. You hear about um, participating in events like this. Uh, they always, or they have the potential to lead yeah. to injury. So there would be an agreement amongst players that they would have like this Harlem Globetrotter, Globetrotter kind of esque. Feel, which wouldn't make the best, most captivating game, but we'd so, see a lot of goals. I was so going to ask here's, you. Here's my thoughts on this. One, the most amazing idea you could ever have, it's just at the wrong time. Because suppose they want to do this during the Champions League. We know how the soccer calendar works. I don't understand Jam -packed. it. I will never understand it. I will follow the sport till I die ever since starting from 2014. I don't ever want to figure it out. It's fine. <laughs> it's on all the time. That's good to me. But... I think the two best times to do this every two years and do it like right before or probably immediately after the World Cup and the Euros because that way you have it not every single year, which yeah. I know can be tough to schedule. You can you've schedule got this year, you've got the Copa America. On top up. of that, I know a lot of people were worried about the injuries and stuff like that, but when you watch the NBA All Star game, and I'm weird, I love the NBA All Star game. A lot of people hate it. I think it's I hate it after the Paul George problem. I think it's extremely entertaining. I think it's uh, it, there's no defense. You get to see all the, your your favorite athletes going yeah. head to head with each other. But the injury problem, it's not like Messi and Ronaldo are going to be running for 95 minutes. No, you play 25 minutes. You're not really playing. You're not. There's no slide tackles. People yeah. understand the games for fun. The score is going to be 15 to 14. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you'll see Manuel Neuer stretch out for a few amazing saves. You'll see Messi putting it on from 60 yards away. But I, I've, I've there's there's so has been benefit. there has been games similar to this in terms of like charity matches, and they even do get competitive. Trust me, I think it's a little bit different in soccer because they all hate each other. That, that and as well as if you're going to put that those both of those lineups. If you're going to put those players against each other, they're going to compete. Because, and I, I understand the same thing if you're putting LeBron up against Kobe. Like, look what happened. Kobe took well, it a lot more seriously than LeBron course, did in course, that example. And correct me if I'm wrong, what was the latest injury that happened in the NBA All-Star well, game? Well, it wasn't the All-Star game, but it was the FIBA World the FIBA Cup, World which Cup is over game. the summer, which is Paul George, which was 
a international competition, but again, it was not something that it was Indiana just additional. It was additional. It was additional fixtures that added onto an already of uh, uh, jam-packed schedule. So that was my idea. So I've seen that horrific right. injury in Paul George could have been avoided if those games, if but those games weren't played. It could have happened in happen another in game. Practice. Yeah, yeah, of those course. Happen in the FA Cup. Trust me. Yeah, I agree. But the argument would be that they're with intention, right? If you're training, yeah, it true. happens you're with intention. If you're just doing something for fun or for a charity, then you yeah. run the risk. It's like you sign a contract with every team you play on, no matter the sport, that you're not to go skiing, that you're not to go jet skiing or, or skydiving, just for the, yeah. you gotta save your body. I, so your, what about like an all-star weekend? Because the NBA does an all-star weekend where they have a lot of things out, so they have a dunk contest, they have the three-point shooting contest. I think it would be amazing to see these guys for two days do skills challenges. That would be great. Penalty yeah. kickoff or, uh, you know, long shot challenge, dribbling contest, like all those things I would think be the awesome. world would love it. The world would love it. They would be entertained. They would have tons and plenty of criticisms, mm -hmm. especially Especially if they do play the all-world UEFA yeah. uh, Champions League. <laughs> you okay. making a title for it? <laughs> you making a title for all it? All-world all -world powerful, powerful trophy. Powerful yeah. team. I'm, I'm the soccer ball champion. <laughs> I'm, I'm just putting the two cents in uh, on behalf of Jose Mourinho because he's a devil's advocate and he hates the fact that uh, the Premier League still has a doesn't have a winter break because he feels that his team, Chelsea, were at a disadvantage playing against PSG because they had to play all through winter. Their, their players began to become fatigued. He would probably put a stake forward that if it was just a one-off game, maybe in the summer when the games are actually just after the season's done, before the next season starts, I think that's well, the best little, time. Yeah, there's I'm some sure those there. guys... I'm putting, it, I'm putting it in between the Champions League is just calling out for one player to, to break a fingernail and suddenly you're going to be like, <laughs> oh my God, Alden Robin doing one of his massive flops breaks oh a fingernail. My God. I think someone so, would be out but, there to kill Gareth Bale but, if he ever... Yeah. But <laughs> this concept of, of All-Star, it's very American, so... What is uh what is UEFA saying about their That's, their following? I yeah, mean, maybe it is that that a lot of their fans are now coming from America. Has America finally caught on? Maybe it <laughs> might. The, the, pic, the funny thing on the pic, the picture at the bottom of the article actually had Platini of the UEFA with his two fingers in his ear like this, as if to say, I don't want to listen anymore. Like I think it would be great. It I would want, be great. I want the All Star coaches in there. I'm sorry, not all, world class. Whatever word you guys use. All Star. No, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna call it All Star, if it's, that's what it is, let's use Dear All Star. Why do you guys say All Star for everything though? I watched the commercial. This is the All Star dishwasher <laughs> soap. Like, what? Is there a competition? Dial between dish this? soap is far and away the number one leading dish soap in the country. It's the All Star, All -Star. soap. Okay? I am, I'm the All Star TIT Sports Soccer host. I no, just called myself. Not even, it. It's what not even. It's not even green friendly. It's not environmentally friendly. <laughs> we gotta go for the environmentally friendly. Soap. That one's gonna so? be the All Star one. Yeah. The an environmentally friendly, friendly UEFA World I Team A and B. I, I, don't, I ran out of things to say for the names. <laughs> I, I ran out what to put into it. But you can name it what you want. All we know is it would absolutely be amazing. Be I awesome. would love to see it. It, it would just, awesome. it just like the idea of having all those players together at once. It's really thrilling to yeah. see their That's interactions. The I would think Messi it's, play it's with less Ronaldo? about. It's less. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo? It's less about how competitive this game is actually going to be and more about their relationships with each other. Yeah, the fans, the, it's about the fans oh, it's about and the, fans. the shirts. And you get to sell more shirts. You get and God, shirt. Look, I look at the giant Chevy advertisement on Manchester United. I couldn't imagine if there was any space for a number or a badge if there was <laughs> an all-star yeah, game I, shirt. Yeah, right. True, but I, it would be interesting. I would but I would boycott it. it if Balo wasn't in it. He's never going to get it. He's going to be a star. star. He'd be He'll the be guy taking star. Instagrams at the side. They gotta, I'll they be gotta hanging have... out with them on the side while Zlatan's coming. Zlatan's, Zlatan's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right, guys. Well, we want to know what you guys think. Here's a couple of interesting questions. If they played in the same team, would Ronaldo be a ball hog? Would he pass to Messi? Would they all be involved in it together? Oh. Would it be taken lighthearted? Oh, would they it would be pass. competitive? They would pass. Oh, they I would think pass. it would pass. It would be interesting <laughs> to see. Leave your comments in the section below from Francis Tamaris and Jason. Make sure to follow us all on Twitter. All our handles will be in the section below. And thanks again and subscribe.